Yeah. I'm going to get you set up with that. The sight of the week, you're going to have to wait until the end. But it is where I got this information from. And they do an in-depth article. So you're going to definitely want to hang out until the end of the video to get that Apple Ninja sight of the week. Hey guys, you're going to want to make sure that you hit the alert button when you get subscribed so that you get notified because I'm going to be giving away a pair of AirPods Pro um, coming up here soon. I'm getting close to meeting this kind of requirement or, or goal of mine, so to speak. And you're going to want to be subscribed so that you hear the announcement for the giveaway. Um, all right, let's get to this. All right, so let's open up the terminal application by hitting command space bar, type in terminal, hit and return, command plus to blow that guy up so you guys can read it. And I want you to just type mvram minus p. And we're going to see that we have one setting in our mvram settings, and it's for the backlight. If I were to turn down the backlight a little bit and arrow up, you're going to notice that the value changed. So this is recording that value into the NVRAM parameters. What we're going to do is we're going to add the startup mute parameter into the NVRAM. So that's what we're going to do next. You can hit Command K to clear the screen if you'd like. I'm going to type in sudo because we do need to do this with elevated access. sudo nvram. And then we're going to do startup mute equals percent zero zero. Once I hit that, I'm going to type in my password. And it's set. If I arrow back up, I can do an MVRAM minus P, and I'm going to see that it is, in fact, set. So if I reboot this Mac right now, it is going to give me the chime or the bong. If I want to remove this, I have two options. I can either do, I can arrow up twice, I can change this last zero to a one, and now it's disabled. If I go into the MVRAM minus P, you'll see that it is in fact changed and now it will not chime or bong. I can also remove it entirely. So if I do remove everything up to there, do a minus D, hit return, arrow up twice, and you're going to notice that the entry is removed completely because I used the minus D option on that. The Apple Ninja site of the week is MrMacintosh.com. It is where I received this information. The person that runs that blog is actually a, a very good friend of mine. I can't disclose who it is, but... They are awesome and an amazing uh, site, and you should go check them out and give them some love. Next week, there's a good chance that I'm going to be doing an in-depth on the NVRAM command, uh, just because I think it's a really valuable command that everybody should really kind of understand. In the event you ever encounter that nasty startup issue where you got the question mark on your Mac screen, this has the chance of helping you. So you'll want to check that video out. All right, guys, have an awesome week. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the AirPods Pro announcement. You guys have an awesome week. Take care.